there? Oh, who goes there? That's right, folks, we're going to be playing another Dark Parables. Yay, Dark Parables, the Swan Princess and the Dire Tree. I'm your Gibbs, and I have played them all. Yes, that's right, every single Dark Parables game. I can't wait. This is the beta for the next installment. If you're looking for some of the other games, there'll be playlists down in the video description. Come check them all out. Wow. I like swans and I like princesses, so I'm really looking forward to this one. Let's go ahead and pop into the play button here. We've got casual, hard, insane, and custom. Lots and lots of different options here to customize your experience. I'd love to hear how many of you actually play on custom mode. I don't know, I'm just curious. Do a quick little survey here. Loading. Hello there. Detective, you've been called to the kingdom of Dire Island to investigate a mysterious series of cracks appearing throughout the land. The phenomenon is related to the disappearance of the magic seed, which holds the key to reviving the goddess Flora, who keeps nature in balance. The prime suspect for the theft is a high-ranking member of the Swan Guard. Be careful, detective. They all swore to put the safety of Dire Island and its people above their own lives. It's gonna happen. <laughs> Yay! Uh, for those of you that know what I'm referring to, the beginning of every single Dark Parables happens with one thing, and it just happened again. Ha <laughs> ha Little fan... Fan call out there. Okay, special features, please. Well, I think we should talk to the person over here. Help me, please! I'm barely hanging on! Uh, okay, we will definitely take care of that. I love that you can see the breath of the horse. Look at that tiny little bit of detail, but wow, that's so good. Oh. <laughs> oh. Help. I can't hold on much longer. I'm working on it. I'm going to take your scissors first. I need something to help me reach him. Maybe I could use my horse to pull him out. One of my favorite things about the Dark Parable series is... They'll have like ordinary items like scissors, or a knife, or a fork, or I don't know, a lasso. And the way they actually do the art style here, it's so intricate in design, like it looks so beautiful. Even though it's just an ordinary kind of item. Absence of one orb was enough for the whole system to fail. Alright horsey. Let's go ahead and grab that, like a water jug, like look how fancy that water jug is. I hope the bridle can hold his weight. Cut, cut, cut. Got it! Pull me up! Working on it. Good job, horsey. Thank you. I'm Desmond McBride, Master Tailor of the Highest Order. If it wasn't for you, I'd never have been able to answer the princess's summons. She knows I'm the perfect person to fix those strange cracks, and I certainly saw firsthand how dire the situation is getting. So I guess we're going to be hearing the word dire a lot in this game? But actions speak louder than words. Let me patch up this crevice. Ready to see a master at work? Wait a minute. Okay, so I was thinking like seamstress as in like clothing, or tailor as in like fabric. See? A masterpiece in the blink of an eye. With my help, 
The princess will restore her kingdom in no time. There's just one problem. I got this letter from the princess, but I can't tell from it how to get to the dire tree. Maybe you'll see something I don't, and then we can be traveling companions. Yay, I like a traveling companion. You can be my Robin to my Batman. I'm glad I could help him. You've collected a plus item. Plus items can be examined further and even combined with other items from your inventory. What kind of letter is this? Those runes, props, it was magically encrypted. Ooh, fancy. Master Taylor, your fame spreads far beyond the borders of Dire Island. I request an immediate audience. Only you can save my kingdom. This will show you the way, Swan Princess. Swan Princess got it a bit wrong. Her tailor can't even get to the dire tree on his own. Yeah, seriously, dude. What did we get? Water jug and an eye. Okay. Now, uh, this game series is known for its parables. And it looks like we've got one in the beta here. And it's basically little bits and pieces that you pick up, and then you get a little bit of backstory. Swan Kingdom. Oh, I love this, like, in focus, out of focus. This is neat. Wow. That's cool. I don't think I've ever seen that before. I've only played a couple hundred of these Hopa games, so, you know. <laughs> You'd think I would have seen it all by now. Swan Kingdom welcomes you. Swear your allegiance to the goddess or turn back now. It looks like a bear and an eagle symbol are missing. Does he have anything else if to say? If it wasn't for you, I'd never have been able to answer the princess's summons. So he's not really going to help me here. Let's go to the high point then. Legend says that some members of the Swan Guard can transform into swans. Well, we just saw somebody there, some lady transform into a... Uh, black swan. A swan guard banner. Maybe I'll find more information about the mission here. Ooh, and we got some glitter action. Silver swan. The first swan. Guard prince. Okay. Hmm, this is neat. The swan guard was formed to protect the goddess. She keeps the balance throughout the kingdom. The old fountain stands dry as if it's waiting for the rain. I need to get rid of these vines. Can I just trim them? Oh, I can too. Nice. Ooh, I like the little hand action getting in there. Look at that. That's neat. Didn't have to use tweezers to get that out. There. It looks like a scouting device. These runes, I've seen them before. Princess used them to decrypt her letter. Oh, I'm supposed to remember what it was? Uh. There we are. It's cracked! Oh no! I need a lens to find a path to the dire tree. Alright, let's go over here. I love how there's just feathers floating off of our uh, hidden object scene here. And yes, another factor that is main, uh, a main component of the Dark Parable series is these fragmented object scenes. Some folks love these things and other folks maybe not so much, but I I'm indifferent. I, uh, I love that they're, uh, uh, they're just you know, when the Dark Parable series kind of first came into its uh, fame when Blue Tea was really running the show, it was unique. It was just such a different way to do this type of scene. And you always walked away with some ornate, crazy item that you were going to be using later, so... It's just, I find that sometimes these scenes are either extremely easy or extremely difficult. And it has a lot to do with the color contrast. So, a scene where, like, it's all gold and you're finding a bunch of gold items, it's like, wow, it's tough. But this one's not too bad. You got a mixture of colors, so. Got some brown stuff, some blue stuff. 
So you can't just randomly click and just hope that you're gonna find everything on the list. You actually really have to spot the item. So we got that piece, so that fragment will come together. Oh, it looks like it's our bear. We got a couple things here. Oh wow, I just saw the eyes move on the tree. And we have some owls in the background. So that one comes together. We got two more bits to go. One that looks kind of like a moon. Another one that looks kind of like, I don't know what you would call that, but there it is there. Ooh, 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 ooh. We've got some owl business. Wow, that was very well hidden. Looks like we're making the bear symbol. Bear rune, okay, good. So we will go back. And we'll put the bear over here. And we still need the eagle. Not exactly sure what to do with this one. Water jug and a war banner pole. If it wasn't for you, I'd never have been able to answer the princess's song. Yes, 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 yes. I heard you the first time. Hmm. Let's see if their map is... Wait, why don't I have a map? Oops, didn't mean to do that. Have we not got the map yet? Objectives. Find a path to the dire tree. Huh. Okay. Water. We've got water. Oh, and we have our eagle, I believe. Eagle rune. Excellent. Let's go put that over here and see what we've got cooking. More fun stuff here. So this is a sun emblem and an unpolished lens. Let's go put the polished lens here. We might be able to use our banner to give it a good polish. Maybe. Maybe not. Alright, never mind then. I'm not sure if this is gonna go here. No. Hmm. There's the tree there. That's the legendary dire tree. It's the home of the Swan Guard. Just lovely, lovely art style. I mean, it's a. Uh, I like a variety of games, so that I can't necessarily say that, oh my gosh, I would never play anything else but Dire or um, Dark Parables, but uh, beautiful music, beautiful artwork. It's a treat. I will say that. I enjoy these games. Ooh, we've got something buried in there. What do we have here now? Wisp Lantern and a Polishing Stone. Okay, so we can go over here now. Do this first. And again. It's all shiny and new now. And so, it's not going to activate on its own. Uh, oh. Hello. Using the looking glass, find the path to the dire tree. Select the landmarks that match the symbols. Uh, how do I move this around? Wrong path. So I have to start here, maybe, on the arches? Aha. Okay. And then we have another kind of towery thing. Ooh, there's a swan over there. Uh, don't think that's it. No, it's the wrong path. Okay. Is it going to be close by, or what's the deal here, game? No, wrong path. I'm not sure how far away it's supposed to be. 
Wow, it feels like this is... Oh, okay, so there it is. And then that goes there. Maybe they're supposed to be somewhat close, two items at a time. this one and then some sort of crazy tree a couple stones and the tree itself aha we did it the orb can show us the way I should find the tailor and keep moving here you go here's your oh uh, oh no maybe we gotta put it here Lead the way. Excellent work. There's not a moment to spare. Let's go. Follow the leader. Finally, the dire tree. It's even more impressive up close. Some locations in the game contain, contain hidden pieces of parables. So I was uh, discussing that just a moment ago. So it's like a morphing object, maybe? Hmm. I admire their craftsmanship. Swan guards sworn to protect the goddess Flora at all times and at any cost. So yes, yeah, so if you go over into parables, you'll see here that we've got one out of the three pieces here. Our horsey there is just gonna relax, take a load off. It's some sort of ancient road sign. I must be standing at the crossroads. The limbs of the tree are missing bracelets. Okay, so... Hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Lots of owls here. The swans seem a constant motif throughout this island. Hmm. What do we have here? It looks like a frog figure is missing from this post. Let's go to the gate. Thank you for answering my summons, Master Taylor. Your help with the cracks will be invaluable. I suggest you get to work immediately. Wait, she gets to ride a reindeer? <gasps> I'm jealous. Fear not, my lady. It is my honor to assist you in your time of need. Off I go. And for you, detective, I have a task of the utmost delicacy. The future of my kingdom depends on it. The Black Swan, who was once the most trusted member of my Swan Guard, has stolen the Magic Seed. Without it, the Goddess Flora cannot regenerate. My scouts have informed me that she's hiding somewhere in the swamp. Only someone with your wits and skills can track her down. I'll be in the throne room, awaiting your return, with this seed and the traitor. This talisman will help you when you face her. The guard. Each carry a magical amulet closely tied to their existence. This one was the black swans. The swan princess seems rather worried. Restoration ceremony is in real danger. I'll be honored to help. Whoa. Awesome. 